So yesterday's recitation included Surah Al Ra'ad and Surah Ibrahim, and tonight, inshallah, we'll be reciting Surah Al Hijr and Surah Al Nahar. Now, these four surahs together share a common theme, and that common theme is to be grateful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala for all of His favors. So Surah Al Ra'ad is named after the thunder and lightning. That Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala tells us in the surah that all of creation praises Allah in ways that we don't understand. And even the lightning and the thunder are a type of praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the way that the skies and the heavens praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a way that we don't understand. And so we have this theme that all of creation is grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Will we be grateful? And then in the next surah, Surah Ibrahim, again the message is repeated about the importance of gratitude. That if you are grateful, I will give you more. And then in Surah Al-Hijr, the, the emphasis here is on a special bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what you'll see in these two surahs that we recite tonight is that the first surah, Surah Al-Hijr, focuses on Allah's gift to us in terms of the Qur'an and in terms of Islam. And the importance of being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for gifting us with Islam and for gifting us with the Qur'an. And then the second surah we will recite tonight, Surah Al-Nahl, the chapter of the bee, this surah list for us many of the beautiful things Allah has created. So that we can appreciate the beauty of the creation around us. And so when you recite these two surahs together, you should get a sense of gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the physical and the spiritual, for the world and for the deen. So you get a, gratitude, a sense of gratitude for both. And so one of the, one of the beautiful verses in Surah Al-Hijr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that He had given us the Qur'an and the seven often recited verses referring to Surah Al-Fatiha. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding us that from His greatest gifts to us is the Qur'an itself. That the Qur'an guides us, it gives us purpose, it gives us meaning, it gives us uh, conviction in this religion. It is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Will we not be grateful for that gift? And then in the next surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lists favor upon favor upon favor that He created for us so many different things. He created for us all of these animals and, and this world and everything in it. And then in the surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that if you had to count the favors of Allah, you will never be able to do so. If you had to try counting all of Allah's favors upon you, you will never be able to do so. And so the primary lesson that we take from today's recitation is the importance of being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And linking that to our spirituality, one final point for today is that many a time... Uh, you know, we think of worshipping Allah as just, you know, as, a, as, a, as on one level. But in reality, there are different levels of Iman. So, someone who's like just starting to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they may be doing it out of culture, they may be doing it out of obeying their parents, or they may be doing it out of fear of the hellfire. All of these are good beginning level ste steps to get a person to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But as we increase in Iman, our reasons for worshipping Allah should evolve as well. That it should move from fear towards hope and from hope towards love. And the highest level of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to worship Allah out of gratitude. Why is this the highest level? Because this was the level of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That Aisha radiallahu anha narrates that she, she saw the Prophet sallallahu praying at night, long prayers late at night. And so she asked him, why do you pray so much when Allah has already forgiven you all your sins? And the Prophet ﷺ replied, should I not be a grateful servant? Should I not be a grateful servant? And so from here we see that Aisha was looking at worship as something you do to earn Allah's forgiveness. And Rasulullah ﷺ taught her a higher level of worship. That even if Allah has already forgiven you, and even if there is no fear of going to the hellfire, we still worship Allah. Why? Because we are grateful for all of His favors upon us. So we should work to build our level of Iman to a level where we worship Allah out of gratitude. Because this is the level of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is our role model and that is the level we should aspire towards. Subhanahu rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salam ala mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alam.